All right. Well, today is March 9th, 2015. Haven't posted much lately. Um, because the fact of the matter is I fell off the wagon. I fell off the transformation wagon. Not only fall off, fell off, I uh, landed on my head. Not literally. Um, I can make all the excuses in the world. Um, okay, I'll make all the excuses in the world. Got <laughs> so, yeah, we got slammed with work. Um, literally working 12, 15, and even 18 hour days um, for two weeks non-stop. Um, my life just came to a screeching halt. And unfortunately couldn't have happened at a worse time. It happened at week six of our transformation progress. Um, so rather than picking up and having a two week hiatus, I reset the clock on my Geth and transformation. Back to day one last week, and I actually last Thursday I started day one. Today is Monday. So I think I'm on day five of the Geth and transformation. Um, yeah, it wasn't fair to continue and say, hey, this is the this is the transformation I did on the Geth and transformation when I took a two week vacation in the middle of it. So reset the clock, um, kind of messed up the whole bodybuilding.com transformation thing I signed up for. We'll see how it goes when it comes to April and submitting after picks. I may bail on that. Um, but two main points. Number one, during my hiatus, um, schedule got crazy, but I didn't go nuts with my diet. I didn't just fall off the wagon with my eating. Yeah, I had some pizza late at night when we were try doing some late nights. Um, but I maintained. I was started this transformation at 218 pounds um, last week Thursday when I weighed in I was at 203 so I'm still down 15 pounds I'm kind of excited about that because it actually gives me means I'm starting the geth and transformation at 203 rather than 218 so I should not have much problem at all getting down to that 270 to uh, excuse me 170 175 um, goal weight at the end of this transformation so I'm excited about that. But the other thing is, um, I didn't post for a while because we were slammed. Um, but there was an embarrassment factor of kind of not sticking with it and being consistent. But it's during those scat stop gaps um, that is really a critical crossroad that all of us face. Um, I'm just like every other person that doesn't do this full time we're just trying to be healthy and um, create a, a decent physique. Um, we all have our blunders, we go have our ups and downs. And the key point is, for me, is number one, not falling off too hard, but more importantly, getting back on. The, the more I can minim minimalize that time um, that I'm out of the gym, um, has really become the key to my success and longevity of progress. So, two weeks of being slammed at work, and it happens. Um, that was extreme. Haven't had it that way in a long while. I'm back, starting off doing my 20 minutes of cardio, day five Gethin. Tonight is shoulders and abs and calves. Um, but I'm excited. I want to give you a quick explanation. I'm going to be doing some more posting. Got some really cool stuff I want to post and share with you guys. Um, so here we go. We're back on track.